Hey guys, and good morning, NCWQ here. Yesterday, there was an ex hydrothermal explosion inside Yellowstone Park that sent rocks and debris flying. It was at Biscuit Basin Geyser, Biscuit Basin Geyser which is located here. And we can see that there are walkways through here. So we'll see if we can get a little bit of a closer look. And this was the Biscuit Basin Geyser is right out here. So we can see that there are walkways through here. And I'm going to look and see if I can find the walkway. You can tell it looks like there's little boardwalks that come through here to go out closer to it. But not accessible by the Google Earth. It just shows the areas away from there. So you can see this is the gym pool over here. But Biscuit Basin Geyser is right here. Anyway, um, people caught images of a pillow of dirt and debris shooting upward near Sapphire Pool. And this is the gym pool. So let's see if we can find Sapphire Pool. So um, let's see here. The sapphire pool is right here. So this is a sapphire pool here. Let's see if there's a view there. So this is by the sapphire pool here. That's Biscuit Basin there. So this is a sapphire pool here. So it said that the pillow of dirt and debris shot upward near Sapphire Basin within the basin, sending the debris onto the boardwalk and the park visitors below. And as you can tell, you have the walkway through here. That's the Sapphire Pool. So this occurred, I believe it probably would have been on this side. The eruption occurred around 10 a.m. local time at the park's Biscuit Basin, according to the National Park Service. Various videos on social media show people were nearby when the explosion occurred. There were no reports of energy um, injury. According to the USGS, the Biscuit Basin parking lot and boardwalks are now temporarily closed for visitor safety. They noted the geologists are investigating the event. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water suddenly flashes to steam underground. And they are relatively common in Yellowstone, USGS said. It's sort of an underappreciated hazard in the Yellowstone region. Tuesday's event was not connected to any volcanic activity, which is often associated with the park. People focus on the volcanism there, but there's no signs of any volcanic activity at this time. It was simply a geyser system and hydrothermal system that experienced changes underground that caused a lot of water to flash to heat. Additionally, the event is not a sign of any impending volcanic eruptions, according to the USGS. They state that this sort of thing happens one to two times per year, somewhere in Yellowstone, often in the backcountry, so it goes unnoticed, according to the USGS, which they stated on social media and an underappreciated hazard that they've been emphasizing for years. A similar event happens roughly in the same place in 2009. The agency added that small doesn't mean it was not spectacular. Anyways, I've been looking through information and I hope you all enjoyed the small update. This is the gym pool here. 
right here. That's the gym pool. And this is Biscuit Basin here. As you can see, it says Biscuit Basin right there. And Biscuit Basin is a collection of colorful thermal pools and geysers next to a river in Yellowstone Park. Anyways, you guys, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all have a great day. Anyways, much love. God bless. And if there's anything else to speak, I'll be back on. Much love.